I had friends in a in a band back in like spring of '96. I was up front singing along with my friends, and somebody rolled on me while they were moshing. But then after like I don't know, maybe even 15 minutes, I just couldn't move. And I got home. I thought I was alright. The next day I couldn't get up. So it turns out I tore my ACL, my MCL, or excuse me, my, my ACL my, and my meniscus. So um, I was introduced to Percocets by uh, my mother. And uh, they were readily available in the house. Uh, my grandmother had lots of injuries and stuff like that. That began my, uh, I don't know, almost 12 year um, love affair, hate affair with opiates, I guess. Hey, how you doing? Yes. And you get it off at 3.35, mm -hmm. but uh, it, it's marble. I don't know if the sink itself is marble. I don't think it is. I mean, and then it's, there's two designs. There's the triangular corner mount, or, and then there's this one. I need something smaller. Okay. For it to fit in the cabinet that I want to put okay. in. Okay. Yeah. Um, did you see the sinks there? There's a small one there. Okay. This one? Yeah, it's not an undermount. No, it's not. There, yeah, you're right, none of these are. Yeah, it's just those ones from the Lorraine. Okay. Thank you, love. You're welcome. Thank you. So I went to rehab eight days later. I was fine. I had 40 days without any opiates, but uh, I still drank and smoked pot and stuff. And, and I was like, what am I doing here? I'm going to be 21 soon, and I'm going to start drinking again. And I relapsed, and then I had another habit for a while. Summer of 03, I was just... With, I was living with that with a girl, and we were talking about marriage, and and um, now, now she lives across the hall from me, she's having a baby, which is kind of funny. It's not mine, but um, I don't know. In so, some ways, the method I mean to save my life, in other ways, it kind of kept it stagnant. I was sloppy drunk. It was five in the morning. What? Lots of booze. You know how many times I've eaten at five in the morning and not woken Patrick, up with chunks of food on me? are we speaking at you, dude? Give me Where that. do you think you are? Give me that. We can give you that. I didn't hear you ask me for... See, now look what you did. Now look what you did. You ain't getting another one. How do you know? Because that's all I got left. Unless you're buying some. Where's your paper towels? I don't have any. Mm. I mean, because like... I'm sorry, I'm Brian. Brian. I'm oh. Teresa. Hey, Teresa. And you are? Hey, I'm Greg. Hey, Greg. How are you? That's my brother's name. One of them, anyway. Yeah. Oh, those are uh, from... Uh, they're kerosene from carriage. From a carriage. Yeah. They actually still have the wick in them. That's phenomenal. Yeah. Like, that, like uh, I just like the idea that stuff survives. And, like, I was in school, uh, let's see, uh, spring of 07. Uh, almost on track to graduate, finally. I mean, I got nine credits to graduate college with a history degree, and... Uh, you know, I've just struggled with, with all that. You know, I'm, I got my paperwork together and I should be uh, going back in the fall to finish up finally. It's weird. Sometimes I moan and, and whine and complain about, oh, what was me? But really, I'm lucky to, to be here. I'm lucky uh, to have a roof over my head and uh, have a job that I really like and then friends that actually still put up with me. Parents that love me, and brothers that love me. I mean, yeah, things could always be better, but things could always be really much worse.